thank you so much for doing all of that planning. But today we're going to take it a step further. We're going to do what we call a draft. We're going to be drafting our own writing. Okay, remember when we talked about, um, when we write a personal recount, we use the past tense and we did that, remember that? And yesterday we planned, we did a list, remember? I asked you to write your list of things that you are going to talk about, remember, in paragraphs, isn't it? Now, that list is going to help us when we are writing, okay? However, paragraphs, do they have numbers? Have you ever seen paragraphs with numbers? Paragraphs don't have numbers. You start with a full sent with a, with a capital letter, you write a full sentence, you end with a full stop. If you write and you end here, you don't go and start at the beginning, you carry on from here, isn't it? Where you stopped, that is a paragraph. And remember, paragraphs are a group of sentences that talk about the same thing. Okay, all right. Now, once we're done with paragraph one, to show that we are going to another paragraph, we skip a line. Are you listening to me? All right. Otherwise, it becomes muddled up, and then we don't see your paragraphs nicely. Okay, all right. Now, I am going to show you how I would write from my list how I would start my draft. Remember a draft is just the first time, it's the first time you are writing. So sometimes you can make, you can make mistakes, it's not a problem, isn't it? Then we will correct them later. What is important is that you attempt and write your paragraphs. Now I'm going to show you how to write my first sentence. If you are struggling to write your first sentence, what you can do, you can remember all the strategies that we talked about, all our writing strategies, like counting the words in a sentence. I was brave when I was 10 years old. Those are nine words. So I can draw my lines and write all the words that I can remember. I was brave when I was 10 years old, I put a full stop. Now I'm going to write the words that I remember. I was, there's brave, so I can copy brave from there. Brave, when I was 10, there's 10. Let's say I cannot spell years. Ne? What do we do when we cannot spell a word? We say it slowly and we hear the sounds and we write the sounds that we hear. Years, year, year, years. Let's say you can't write it. You say year, years. It's fine because this is a first draft. You are allowed to write what you can hear. 10 years old, okay? I was brave when I was 10 years old. When I start my second sentence, I will start it from here. I will not come and start it here. I will continue and end it here. And with a full stop and until I am done with paragraph one. Then I skip a line to go to paragraph two. Are you with me? Do you understand? What do I do when I cannot write a word? First of all, I can look at all the words that I, I have in the class. We can use the word wall at the back to help us. And you can also use your personal dictionary to help you spell the word. If you cannot spell it at all, you do exactly what I did. You say out the sound, the word in slowly and write the sounds that you can hear, okay? All right, are we ready to do our first draft? Now, it's time for you to do your own draft. Writers always draft. I want you now to open your books to your plan, your list, remember. Open there and start writing your first draft. 